Okay, now I think that this is something where we can grab an extra mark where a lot of candidates get confused by this. They've given us the uh, spot rates, the forward rates. We might even have to calculate the forward rates or the spot rates. We know how to do that. But now what they're asking us to do is link this to active uh, bond management uh, and trading strategies. To link this to the local expectations theory. Okay, and that local expectations theory says that if this is arbitrage free, then we should earn the one period uh, risk free rate no matter where we are. Okay, there's no uh, opportunity to earn more or even less if you want it to go that way. So that local expectations theory is what we're bringing in here. Now, uh, let's uh, uh, match it up with another concept that we're talking about. We're talking about you know, moving forward in terms of time. Here is today, and this is when we start to price bonds. Remember, these were zero coupon bonds. So if I wanted to buy a bond that matured in two years, okay, a bond that matures in two years, that was P2. Remember, I came up to the spot, and this was 1 over 1.04 squared. Okay, and this will give me the price of this bond today. 1.04 squared, one over. So this is 9.9245. Okay, we've got more decimals. Okay, so remember, we're dealing with a $1 par value. I mean, this could be $92.45. All right, so now, what does the theory say? Well, if we move forward one period, and now, we're looking at the spot rates. Okay? What are those spot rates? Well, there's an indication from these forward rates. Okay? If the spot rates evolve as predicted by the forward rates, then we should earn that one period rate of return, 3.5%. So let's just demonstrate that. So if we move forward and the spot rates evolve, my two-year bond now has just one year left to maturity. So how would I price that? Well, here I can come right here and grab this forward rate. So now, uh, let's see, at this point in time, the bond should be worth one over 1.04502. Okay, there's no need to square it, it's only for one period, so let's do this math. Uh, 1.04502. 1 over, so this is 0 0.9569. So remember, we bought the bond today at 92.45. We're saying if the spots evolve as indicated by the forwards, this bond should be worth 95.69. What does that mean for our return? So the return should be ending value minus beginning value over beginning value, or simply uh, ending value, 95.69, divided by 92.45, subtract 1 and multiply by 100. And let's just do this math, 0. 0.9569 divided by 0. 0.9245, and if we subtract off 1, we get 3.5%. Okay? There it is, it's off a little bit by rounding. But what we've just demonstrated here is if the spots evolve as predicted by the forwards, then we should earn that one period risk-free rate. That's it. Okay, so now we'll move on to another example.